Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sports Republic Reviews. Today, we're going to look at these incredible Osaka stick bags. Right, so let's get into this review. Osaka have been known for the real quality of the bags that they produce. And um, these are certainly market leading bags. And, and what really makes them so special is how durable they are. Made from heavy duty tarpaulin, um, these bags are incredibly durable. They last a long time. Um, and because this material is so tough, you know, you, you don't, the, the bags never really break and you know these things last for three four seasons at a time and um, so from a value for money point of view these these are really really great options when you're looking for a bag that's going to last it's got awesome features in it and something that's really trendy at the same time um, so before I get into the detail let's just have a look at the colors available so I've got this popular jade green very cool um, certainly has been quite a hit this season We've got the traditional Osaka black and green. Uh, obviously, always, always popular. The very cool Galaxy Navy. We have the flare orange. Also pretty popular if you, if you really want to stand out there. Um, and we've also got the rocket white, uh, which is really trendy. It's out there. A lot of people are a little bit concerned about how dirty it gets but because uh, of the nature of the material it's quite easy to just wipe it clean so you don't have a white bag that ends up looking a bit more creamy or anything because it's getting dirty you simply wipe it and, and your bag looks good as new that's that's really testament to this top hauling material that they use so i'm going to get into the review on this this is the modular xl and um, this is the top of the range uh, and it's got an awesome amount of space but probably the biggest factor that makes this bag so cool is that it's got a detachable, detachable module. So this is the removable backpack, which kind of makes this bag a two-in-one. So you can simply zip off this backpack, and then you've got a little backpack that you can just take for light sessions. If you're already in your kit and you've got your shinies and your socks on, you can just take the light backpack down to your session, and uh, it's pretty easy to do so you simply remove it pop it back on when you want the full uh, the full stick bag so let's have a look at some of the detail there's loads and loads of detail uh, in these Osaka stick bags so in the top compartment here you've got space for five or six sticks so great for internationals love this size bag because they can have all their sticks that they need for tours um, that you can pop in the back here your obviously your spares that's great for it um, in the top we've got our valuable section so you'll see that this has got a waterproof zipper which just helps it's more water repellent than waterproof uh, and it just keeps your it keeps your goodies nice and safe from any water splashes or if you are maybe caught in the rain or whatever so you'll notice there's loads of space so if you're putting your gum guards we've got a little mesh pocket over here which uh, which we use for our cell phones or our keys, uh, but your gum guards, your suntan lotion or your, your sun cream, um, you know, some, some recovery gels or whatever the case is, there's plenty of space. So that's the, the top compartment. And, and while, while we're here, I'd like to show you, just look at the level of detail on these, on these zips here. So you can see Osaka left nothing to chance. We've got Osaka written on the zip itself and there's a little star on the zipper so you know th there's a lot of fine details in these bags that you know some people don't even notice um, another another interesting thing while I'm while I'm on it here is that all these decals on these bags are reflective at night so if if the sharp light hits them it is going to reflect back uh, and why that's important is if you are walking at night and a car comes up behind you uh, the bag's really going to help you be seen with this big reflection of this Osaka branding on it. Um, 
very important obviously in europe the guys travel around on on bikes a lot of the time that's how they get to and fro from games uh, and this is important for to help them obviously be safe on the road and to be and to be seen some of the other features if we look at the bag we've got little pouches here to put uh, you, you can put your gum guard you can put your smelly little glove in there and um, you've got this compartment over here again loads of space you can put your put your hockey boots in here your shin guards could go in as well a cool little feature here is these little kangaroo pouches which you'll see on the bags also convenient to put your shin guards maybe a water bottle your uh, your glove could even fit on there if we come down to the main compartment at the bottom you'll notice again loads of space and that's what you want this you know you never really have a problem having too much space but the problem is often when you have too little space so another little mesh compartment um, and then a, a really big compartment to pack in all your um, all your kit uh, your shower gear your towel all of that sort of thing looking on the side of the bag here we've got some of the Osaka information on it so this is the main module um, the, the dimensions what it's made of super fine Japanese tarpaulin um, and again this is reflective as well we've got these little straps on the side I like to put a used towel on the side so that it doesn't sort of get all damp and clammy when you uh, when you maybe stayed after the game for a while and um, if we do, if we go around to the back interesting feature on this bag is that the webbing if I just remove those labels the webbing has got a lot of flexibility and movement the, the, the padding on the the shoulder padding doesn't go directly into the webbing there they would they would if it was like that it would limit the movement but because we've got just this webbing and then the shoulder padding you've got all this movement which makes it really easy if you're trying to just quickly chuck it onto your bag it's not very stiff you've got all this sort of um, free-flowing movement so that it makes it really quick to just pop it on your bag um, pop the bag on your back we've got this back padding which makes it really comfortable especially if you if you have loaded up and you've you've got a couple of games on the weekend and um, this will help and it's also got these air channels here to to help dissipate some of that that moisture um, if it's if it's really hot so that is the modular XL from Osaka yeah, we think this is the absolute bee's knees this bag uh, is really really popular it's got loads of space and it's definitely something you should consider if you've got if you if you like carrying a lot of your stuff down to your games cool so the next bag in this incredible range is the pro tour large stick bag we've got this in the galaxy navy which we think is also really really cool it sells really well for us at sports republic and very similar to the modular xl main main differences here is volume so it is slightly narrower so uh, you can still f fit five five sticks in here no problem it doesn't have the detachable backpack which you do get on the modular xl which is which is really awesome to have but you still got a lot of space here we've got the same sort of water repelling zips for your valuables over here and um, th this compartment is still big enough to put your shoes put your shin guards we've got the kangaroo pouch this is the reflective branding so you make sure that you're seen in the evenings we got the little pouch on the side um, all, all the all the features of this large stick bag are very much the same as the as the modular XL just smaller and smaller in volume and without the detachable backpack so also a really great option if you don't need all that space that the modular XL offers you we can see on the side we've got our branding again the backstrap system is exactly the same with the really great maneuverability we've got the back padding and um, yeah another great option if you're not looking for all the, sp the space that the modular XL provides the large is definitely going to be a great option for you what we got here is the medium stick bag so following the trend going down in volume and size the medium stick bag um, kind of will suit more sort of junior player a little bit better um, we've got a lot of the same sort of detail with all the detail on the zips you can fit two or three sticks in the stick compartment uh, we've got the kangaroo pouch the reflective branding 
the, the compartments are a little bit smaller, but for the junior players with smaller shoes and shin guards, you're not going to find a problem with the amount of space that you've got. We've got the pouches on the side. One notable difference from these is that it only has a single shoulder strap. So there's a good reason for that. Um, if the juniors are using this uh, and they, they're playing after school and they've got a school backpack on their back, you know, having the double strap, you know, you've got kind of too many straps going around and you can't get it on. What, you, what the single strap enables you to do is even when you have your school backpack on your back, you're able to just sling over the single strap over your, your backpack, your school backpack strap, and it's quite simple to move on. And uh, that's, that's pretty convenient and it makes life a little bit easier for, for the youngsters maybe using these medium stick bags. So this is, this is flare orange. It's, it's really vibrant. You're certainly going to stand out. Um, yeah, and we, we've been getting great feedback from people who, who've got this. They really love the color. Um, and it's certainly quite noticeable across the field. So this is the medium stick bag. And we've got one more in the range, which is quite interesting. I'm going to show you next. Right, so what we got here is something really innovative from Osaka. This is the sports large stick bag. Uh, and what this is, is really, it's just a simplified version of the large stick bag, the Pro Tour large stick bag, in the sense that you have got a lot of the similar sort of features. You've got the compartments at the top. But what they've done is they've removed some of the extra features just to bring this bag down uh, a couple of price points to make it a little bit more affordable for for the everyday player so from a volume point of view it's very similar to the pro tour large you can fit five sticks in the stick compartment we've still got a little valuables compartment here and it does have a little mesh compartment to put your phone and your keys so that's really convenient as well on the front of the bag you're going to find this heavy duty tarpaulin but on the sides that's where some of the saving has come in. They've got this really durable material that makes this bag a little bit more affordable. So lots and lots of features, some great space in the bag. We've still got our mesh compartments on the inside in the iconic Osaka black and green. And you'll notice on the back some of the features may be lacking here that uh, the Pro Tour range does come in. Here's what I was talking about with the shoulder straps going directly into the webbing here. You can see there's a little bit less freedom of movement here compared to the other the Pro Tour bags. We don't have the padding on the back and we don't have the air vents as well. So this sports large stick bag is the most affordable bag in the range. It's still got some really great features. It's got some great space. Um, and it's definitely something to consider if one of the other bags are possibly out of your price range. All right, so there you go. This is a short little review on the range of Osaka stick bags on offer. We think they're great. There must be an option out there for you if you are looking for a stick bag. Again, if you found value, please comment below. We'd love for you to subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for our next review.